Hello, my name is Frank, and for about 20 years, I've been trying to figure out which foods would be highly beneficial for me, and I've been trying to avoid foods which I believe would be highly detrimental for me. What I plan to do with this series is to use my videos to help introduce people to the foods that I find are, are very beneficial for me. I figure if the foods are very beneficial for me, there's a good chance that the foods will be very beneficial for you too. So if, if you're looking for ideas on foods that are worthwhile, maybe my videos will help you figure out which foods might be good for you. I know that there's limitless food choices out there, and many of the foods that are out there are detrimental for people. What I try to do in these videos is present foods which I feel are extremely beneficial. Thanks for watching. Let's make some food. Well, this is August 12th, and I'm going to go ahead and open up some clams. Um, while I was out running deliveries today, um, two of my stops, the path between two of my stops brought me real close to a Whole Foods. Usually, um, Whole Foods is too far for me to get to, but um, I was able to clock out and go pick up some clams and uh, hop back in the car and continue on my route. And at Whole Foods they were able to put the clams on ice so I didn't have to worry about them getting too hot. So I'm going to, I got, these are called little neck clams. These three, I would say, are definitely little necks. And these three are probably close to top necks in terms of size. Um, and then I'd say this one is kind of in between. That one's kind of in between too. And I think when my grandpa, my grandpa's the one who introduced me to clams, I think when my grandpa would get clams, these are basically the size that he would get. The ones that are right in between top necks and, um, or they would be considered either large little necks or small cherry stones, um, small top necks. Um, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and open them. And uh, I've also got lemon. I like to squeeze lemon on my raw clams and um, I'm not sure that I'll use both lemons but at least I've got them if I need them. I've got a working plate here. This is where I'm going to collect juice and then I'll be pouring that work I'll be pouring the juice from the working plate into the working glass. And then I've got my serving plate. That's where I'll set the clams after they've been shocked. Um, and then I've got my mixing cup. In other words, after I've opened all the clams and dumped all the juice that fell onto this plate into that glass, then I'm going to cut up a lemon. Maybe half a lemon will get squeezed into the... Uh, so yeah, I probably will end up using both lemons for these eight clams. Usually I don't buy clams from Whole Foods because again they're too far and the ones that I get from the local store are much 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 bigger than these so um, um, that's why I'm kind of kind of uh, playing this by ear in terms of how many lemons I'm going to use I think I am going to use both of them but once the juice goes into this cup from any of the clams that don't stink. If a clam stinks, I, the, the juice is going to go straight into the sink and get washed down and then I'm going to clean my working plate because you don't want a stinker clam messing up your whole meal. So if any of these clams stink, um, I'll wash my plate immediately. I will not put that juice into my working cup. Um, it'll, it'll just get discarded. Um, and um, it, you don't want to eat a clam that stinks. A clam should smell just like a fresh ocean. It should not smell bad. Um, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and um, start cutting these up. I've got bread, 
toasting in my toaster oven over there. I've got two slices of bread. I'll probably toast some more. In fact, why don't I take that bread out now and butter it. So, yeah, before I get my hands covered in clam juice, Get some toast over there, get some butter. Okay. Work on that somewhere where you can see. Although you've probably seen the buttering of bread many times in your life. Okay, once that starts to melt down, then I'll spread it around on the bread. Um, get some more. Add some more bread into the toaster oven over there. Go ahead and open some clams. Okay. Clean off. Clean off the butter from the slamming knife. And let's do this thing. So I'm going to take the clam. I'm going to put the Put the knife, you've got one half of the clam over here, one half of the clam over here. I'm going to put my knife in between the two halves, curl my finger around. Boy, this is going in way too easy. I got a feeling I'm going to have a bunch of stinkers here. Roughly a third of the clams that they had at Whole Foods today were open and they would not close when the uh, when the guy at the fish counter would press on them. So it's very possible that the majority of these are going to be stinkers. Let's see, is this one a stinker or not? Give it a sniff. Nope, that's, that's not a stinker. Okay. So, now I'll take my knife and I'll scrape along the shell so that I can separate the muscle portion of, or the, the meat portion of the clam from the shell. So now this clam will completely lift out of the uh, shell. I'll dump the rest of the juice down into the working plate and then I'll set this clam, this half shell, onto my serving plate. Okay, now I've got juice, juice within this plate and because the clam doesn't smell does not smell at all. It's going into my working cup. So I'm going to add more of the juice from these clams into that working cup and then eventually I'll squeeze lemon onto all the halves of my clams and some of the lemon will go roughly roughly one lemon's worth is going to go into my clam juice and roughly one lemon's worth is going to go atop my eight clams, um, or seven or six, depending on how many stinkers I end up with. And then once the lemon juice is in my cup, I'm going to shake, I'm going to mix the lemon juice with the clam juice by doing that kind of a thing. So let's go ahead and open up one more clam and then I'll turn off my uh, camera. So we got a clam here. Again, I'm I put the clam into the palm of my hand, I take my knife, I try to get right in between the two halves, and I use my fingers to slide within the clam. 
I go over my working dish so I can collect the juice. I slice down. Oh, we broke a shell. Okay. Now I sniff it. Oh, we got a stinker. This one's a stinker. So it's going straight into the sink. And I do not want that juice to go into my cup. So this one's going onto the plate. Clean off my plate. Clean off my working plate with some soap, some detergent. It's not soap, it's detergent. Kind of like dishwashing soap. Okay, now I've got my working plate nice and clean and I'll go back to opening up another clam and, and repeat the process for each clam. That's basically the whole process. I want to get this smelly clam out of this area so that it doesn't upset my ability to test the other clams using my nose. So I'll be getting rid of that clam right now. Okay, well of my eight clams that I bought, uh, two of them were stinkers and the other six are good to eat. Um, now these have been sitting here for a while, like probably about 15 minutes. That was not intentional, but my camera ran out of room. So I'm going to take some of the juice that's accumulated in these clams and I'm going to dump them into my collecting cup. Um, I think what the clams do is they either give up moisture or they pull in moisture from the from the air. Um, either way, I want to leave plenty of room inside this half shell for the lemon because the lemon helps make the clams a little bit more hygienic, a little bit more sanitary, um, so that they're less likely to cause illness. You know, raw seafood can cause illness. Um, the fresh lemon helps cut down on the likelihood that we'll, that I'll get ill. So I've got six good clams. Um, I've got four pieces of bread with butter. Whoops! I've got four pieces of bread with butter. Let's go ahead and spread that butter on the bread. The butter is really optional, but the bread is not. When you're eating clams, this is what my grandpa taught me, and I'd say with years of experience, what he said is, I can validate it, it is true. Anytime you're eating clams, you want to make sure that you're also eating uh, bread in between each clam. So um, I've got six clams and I've got four large slices of bread. Again, the butter being optional, but to me, I think it's good. Even though, even though I'm going to be eating lemon with these clams, I still think that the butter is a pleasant um, part of the, of the snack. Um, okay, and I think one clam is going to be plenty. I'm sorry, I think one lemon is going to be plenty because these clams are so very small. Um, okay, so I'll cut up a lemon. Where's my other knife? Hmm. I'm done with this clamming knife that has butter all over it right now. Where is my other knife? Dang it. 
right, let me turn off the camera while I try to figure this out. Okay, I found my other knife. I'll go ahead and cut up the lemon. I'm going to cut it into eighths. So right now it's cut into fourths. Eight little slices of lemon. Okay, I'll pull out some of the seeds and then go ahead and squeeze lemon onto the clams, trying to fill that whole well, that whole shell up with lemon juice. Oh yeah, there's no doubt that one lemon is going to be plenty So now I'll lift, now that I've gotten some lemon juice into each clam, I'll lift the meat, the clam meat, out of the shell so that the lemon juice can get to the bottom of the clam. Again, the lemon juice helps to neutralize some of the bad bacterias and things. Oh, I got a lemon seed. Helps to neutralize some of the bad bacterias that are associated with the raw seafood so that it's less likely to cause illness. It can still cause illness, but it's less likely to. Okay, let's do one more wedge of lemon in with these clams. Now when my grandpa would do clams, and he would squeeze lemon on the clams, the clams would um, contract. You could tell that they were not happy with the uh, presence of the lemon. For some reason, when I do it, when I open up the clams, the clams seem to die very quickly and they no longer react with the lemon. Sometimes one might just a little bit. Okay, so I've squeezed, I filled the shells with lemon juice. I'm going to squeeze two more maybe three more lemon wedges into the into the little glass of lemon juice or I'm sorry of clam juice so that's one that's two And if you throw some of the lemon pulp into the glass, it'll still taste wonderful. Because that little, that little bit of lemon pulp is going to have clam juice all over it. And the combination of lemon juice with clam juice is a wonderful combination. Let's do one more lemon wedge. So that, I think, is going to be three or... F I think it's going to be three... And three or four lemon wedges that went into the clam juice. So now I've got a, a real good combination of lemon juice with clam juice in that glass. But I really haven't mixed it together yet. And instead of adding a metal knife or a metal spoon into that clam juice, and, or, I'm sorry, into that acidic lemon. Um, I'm just going to pour the lemon juice, clam juice combination back and forth between these two glasses to mix them together. So 
So now I feel confident that the lemon juice has mixed together quite well with the clam juice. One more ingredient for me. These will taste wonderful the way that they are with the lemon and the clam and the lemon juice and the clam juice. But if you add Tabasco sauce, for me that's the that is the creme de la creme. That's that's the best. That's the best combination. The clam, the lemon, and the Tabasco sauce. Doesn't matter if it's red or green Tabasco sauce. I think they'd even have other flavors now too. But I prefer the green myself. So this this stuff right here, the uh, green pepper sauce, Tabasco, with the jalapeno. Um, to me, this is the best, but I, I would not reject the red Tabasco sauce by any, uh, by any means. The red Tabasco sauce is also wonderful. You know, the original. Get a couple of drops of uh, Tabasco sauce onto your clams. Add a little bit in with the um, juice, clam juice, lemon juice combination. Let's mix these together again. So we'll mix in the Tabasco sauce with it. And again, in between, you know, I'll, I'll have a little bit of bread, I'll have a clam, I'll have a little bit of juice. I'll have a little bit more bread, I'll have another clam, I'll have a little bit more juice. And just go through that routine until everything's gone. That is a wonderful, wonderful treat. And it is it's, it's going to be incredibly rich in zinc. If you watch the video that I made regarding um, how I think I had depleted my zinc be because I had been avoiding clams and I had also coincidentally been avoiding pumpkin seeds because I ran out of pumpkin seeds. Um, I was really feeling sluggish because my zinc levels had dropped so low. Well clams are chock full of zinc. So um, I think this is going to get me back to feeling really good again. Um, and that's part of the reason why I, when I saw that I was going to be driving past a Whole Foods, I, I did what I could to get into that Whole Foods and uh, get myself some clams. Um, maybe I'll make another video where I'm opening the much, much larger clams. Um, but I think for now, well, you know what, when I do make that video, I plan to use a bigger knife. I've gone to Dollar Tree and I've bought this bigger knife. Um, at Dollar Tree, which I'm going to experiment with. It's five inches, Santuco knife, um, one dollar at Dollar Tree, plus tax obviously. Um, I think this knife might be good for opening up the bigger clams, but I'm not sure. I've never tried it yet. Um, I think that's it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the camera and eat. Have a good evening. Bye.